The Canon R7 Mark II has reportedly been delayed once again, with the latest credible information now pointing toward a possible launch window in 2026 rather than the near future. And while this news has understandably frustrated photographers and hybrid creators who have been eagerly waiting for Canon's next-generation APS-C flagship mirrorless camera, the delay itself reveals a much bigger story about Canon's evolving mirrorless strategy, its shifting priorities between APS-C and full-frame systems, and how the company appears to be rethinking the long-term role of crop sensor cameras within the RF mount ecosystem. Because rather than being a simple production hiccup or minor scheduling adjustment, the postponed release of the Canon R7 Mark II seems to be the result of deliberate planning as Canon balances its packed product roadmap, including high-profile launches like the Canon R6 Mark III additional full-frame RF cameras and ongoing RF lens development, all of which suggest that Canon currently sees full-frame mirrorless bodies as the primary growth driver for its imaging business while APS-C models are being repositioned into more specialized, performance-focused niches rather than mass-market all-rounders. Rumors of a delay first surfaced as early as mid-2025 when industry watchers noticed the unusually long refresh cycle for the R7 line and those early whispers have since been reinforced by more consistent reports indicating that Canon has chosen to slow APS-C development in order to avoid internal competition with its aggressively priced full-frame offerings, especially as Canon continues to push attractive bundles, firmware updates, and feature-rich upgrades that make cameras like the R8 and R6 series increasingly accessible to enthusiasts who previously relied on crop sensor bodies, meaning the Canon R7 Mark II is no longer just competing against rival APS-C cameras, but also against Canon's own entry-level and mid-range full-frame options. Within this context, the delay starts to make strategic sense, because Canon appears to be using the extra time to redefine what an APS-C flagship should be in 2026, potentially transforming the R7 Mark II into a highly specialized tool for wildlife photography sports shooting, birding, and fast action photography rather than a general-purpose hybrid camera, and if that is the case, the additional development time could actually result in a far more advanced and competitive product that justifies its existence alongside increasingly capable full-frame models. The original Canon R7 built a strong reputation thanks to its fast burst rates, compact and lightweight body, in body image stabilization, and excellent reach advantage for telephoto work, making it especially popular among wildlife shooters, aviation photographers, and outdoor sports enthusiasts who wanted speed and portability without the cost and size of full-frame gear. But after several years on the market, expectations for a Mark II version are understandably high, and Canon cannot afford to release a modest refresh that fails to stand out. One of the most exciting rumored upgrades is the possible inclusion of a 32.5 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, which would be a massive leap forward for Canon's APS-C lineup, as stacked sensor technology dramatically improves readout speeds compared to traditional designs, reducing rolling shutter artifacts, improving electronic shutter performance, and enabling more reliable high-speed burst shooting, and if implemented correctly, this sensor could allow the Canon R7 Mark II to deliver near blackout-free shooting, cleaner panning results, and far better performance when tracking fast-moving subjects like birds in flight or athletes in unpredictable motion. Paired with a next-generation image processing pipeline, potentially involving an enhanced DIGICX processor or an updated DIGIC accelerator combination similar to what Canon has introduced in its newer bodies, the R7 Mark II could offer sustained 30 frames per second electronic burst shooting, improved mechanical shutter speeds, deeper buffers, faster clearing times, and a more responsive overall shooting experience that feels closer to Canon's professional sports cameras than any previous APS-C model. Autofocus is another area where users are hoping to see major gains, because while the original R7's Dual Pixel AF performs well in good lighting conditions, it can struggle with erratic subject movement, busy backgrounds, and challenging low-light scenarios. So integrating Canon's latest subject detection algorithms, enhanced deep learning tracking, and improved eye, face, and animal recognition could elevate the R7 Mark II into one of the most reliable APS-C autofocus systems on the market. 
Canon brings over refinements seen in newer bodies that improve stickiness, reduce focus hunting, and maintain accurate tracking even at the highest burst rates. Ergonomics are also rumored to receive attention, as some photographers have found the current R7's compact grip and button layout less comfortable when using large telephoto lenses for extended shooting sessions, so a slightly larger body with a deeper grip, improved weight balance, and more intuitive control placement inspired by Canon's classic DSLR ergonomics could significantly enhance real-world usability without sacrificing portability, especially for wildlife and sports shooters who spend long hours in the field. On the video side, expectations are equally high, even if the Canon R7 Mark II ultimately leans more towards stills performance, because modern creators increasingly demand strong hybrid capabilities, and rumors suggest that Canon could introduce oversampled 4K 60p video derived from a higher resolution sensor readout, possibly even enabling a 7K open gate recording mode that would provide greater flexibility for reframing, vertical content creation, and cinematic cropping in post-production, all while benefiting from Canon's renowned color science, improved heat management, and enhanced in-body stabilization for handheld shooting. Additional refinements such as a higher resolution electronic viewfinder in the 3.5 million dot range, a brighter and more detailed rear LCD, potential hybrid tilt and flip screen mechanisms, better weather sealing, improved battery efficiency, and refined menu customization could collectively make the R7 Mark II feel like a truly premium APS-C flagship rather than a minor iteration. When viewed holistically, the delayed release of the Canon R7 Mark II of May ultimately proved to be a blessing rather than a setback, because by resisting the temptation to rush a successor to market, Canon has the opportunity to deliver a camera that genuinely redefines what an APS-C mirrorless body can offer in 2026. And if the final product combines a stacked sensor, dramatically improved autofocus, faster burst performance, better ergonomics, and modern video features into a cohesive and purpose-driven design, the Canon R7 Mark II could emerge as one of the most compelling crop sensor cameras Canon has ever produced, reinforcing the relevance of APS-C within the RF system while giving photographers a powerful alternative to full-frame gear. And until Canon officially reveals its plans, all that remains is speculation, patience, and careful consideration of whether waiting for this next-generation APS-C flagship aligns with your own upgrade path, shooting style, and creative priorities as the mirrorless market continues to evolve.